Hey, I'm Samir. Welcome to this short video in which I will introduce the NFT template I designed to automatically create Enki flashcards for language learners. If you are struggling to learn a very difficult language, you are in the right place. I have a solution for you. For the context, I've been learning Mandarin for six years and my best ally in this very difficult challenge was Enki. Enki is an open source free app that is providing you with flashcards to help you digesting or learning more vocabulary. The idea is that you fill the tool with the list of vocabulary that you have to learn. This will create cards that will help you to self-assess your understanding and knowledge of a specific list of words. The, the, most pro the biggest problem that I had with Enki was basically to create these lists. This was very time consuming. Therefore, in the past, I have created an automated workflow using Python. The challenge was now to automate it with NETN and to add another layer of automation using Google Sheet. Let's look at it. So everything starts here in this Google Sheet. This Google Sheet will be used to feed the, uh, the Anki app. And the idea is to automatically fill it with the right fields using NETN. So the field in yellow is the one that is going to be filled by yourself. So this is where you are going to put the words that you want to learn. So here, uh, as an initial language, I will use English, even if, as you can see, my uh, English is not my native language. Uh, and then what the workflow will do is will provide the translation using the Google Translate API. And then an AI agent will also add the phonetic transcription, which is extremely important in Chinese. It's called pinyin. And then a sentence in the target language, so here Chinese, to illustrate the word and to help you to use the word in the daily basis. And what I discovered by using flashcards created by others is that when pictures are inside the flashcard, my efficiency to learn is better. So I, want all, I wanted also to add in a workflow a step where you are going to download in a free database a picture that is linked to the initial word so that could be added in the card. So let's see, let's look at the workflow to see how it's working. Uh, for that, probably let's try with an example. So I will go back to the, to the Google Sheet and I will write, so I've been working in logistics and supply chain for like nine years. So the main vocabulary that I wanted to learn was related to that. So let's say warehouse. Okay, so I want to know how to say warehouse in Chinese. Um, so let's test the workflow. What will happen? First, this triggered, this node is triggered by the fact that you have created a new value. Uh, and then this node will check uh, if the word is empty or not. If the word is empty, nothing will be done. If the word is not empty, then you will call the Google Translate API that will provide the translation. So here it's Hanku in Chinese, but it's in Chinese uh, characters. So how do I know how to pronounce it? And pronunciation in Mandarin is very important and mine is not perfect. Uh, so for that, I will ask the AI agent. So the AI agent has a very simple prompt to explain to him basically that we want to have the phonetic transcription, so here it's pinyin, and then a sentence basically to help me to use the word in the daily, long, in the daily life. So here, for instance, he's saying that we are going to take this product and put it in the warehouse. Okay, it's not extremely advanced, but the idea is to have a very short sentence because this flashcard is going to be used very fast. And then we combine, so we extract the phonetic pinyin and the example. We combine that with the initial text we add also an image name. So here, that would be the name for the image that, come, that we are going to download in the other part of the workflow. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go back. To, let's go to this part of the workflow. So we take the initial text, very easy. We call the API pixels. So if you want, if you need to use, it, if you want to use it, you need to create a, an API key. It's very easy. Then you call it. Uh, I will not show it here because I have a paid API and I don't want to show, but basically you will have a step where you have to put your API keys. You just follow the process here. I will show it later uh, to how to create your API. Then you get the picture. So here the, the, the response for the API is pretty complex, but basically it's providing you all the, all the photos, all the pictures uh, based on, on what you have asked. So here we have asked a picture of a warehouse. 
or for me, for for the for the simplicity, I will just take the first picture. And as you can see, it's a warehouse. It's cool. Then we download the picture, so we upload it in the folder. So here's my in my personal Google Drive. After it's done, we extract the link uh, that that is going to be added in the Google Sheet. We combine everything. So here, the initial text, the example, the phonetic. So that's the first item. And then in the end, we add in the sheet, all the answer. And if we go back to the Google Sheet, everything is here. You have the image name with your warehouse. So what do you need to set up that? Let's go back to the workflow quickly. You need to have a Google Drive and Google Sheet API. So here's called Logic Greenbox. It's the name of my startup. How to create that? Okay, let's go to Google Sheet. So you go to the Google Cloud Console. You go to Google Sheet API. You click here. Here, if it's not, if it's written enable, just click enable. So here it's already enabled. When you manage, you go to manage here, you go to credentials, and then credentials, you can create new credentials. So here it's for OAuth client ID authentication. Then you want web app, you write the name of the web app. Here you will add the URL of uh, that is provided in the node when you are going to put your credentials. Um, and then you create it and everything is done. It will provide you client ID and a secret key that could you, you can feed in the node. For more details, I have put the link here. Uh, what else? So for you need the, you need to do the same for the Google Translate API. So it's the same. It's also in Google. Uh, you need also to do it for Google Drive API. And then uh, what's remaining? Okay, for the Pexels API. So let's go back here. You go in the link that I provided. You say I want to download. You sign up, and then eBay will provide you an API key, and then you copy and paste the API key in the node. When everything is done, you are ready to use the workflow. So just a few notes here. I had it. This triggered notes is just for the demonstration how to use it, but you can use another way to trigger it. Uh, what is missing, comparing to what I did with Python, is the Google text to speech uh, version because. In the flashcards that I created, I had the pictures, but I also had the, the test to script uh, transcription. But I will provide probably, I will try to create a new new template to add also this field. So far, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, my backend that is feeding with uh, um, the, the text to speech using the GTTS um, library in Python. But probably I could find a workaround. And yeah, and then everything is done. Uh, another note is if you want to do it for another language, it's very easy. You can just here to go to Google Translate, you change the target language, and probably you need to here uh, replace some parts of the prompt. So you don't want here to have in simplified Chinese characters, but probably in the target language that you have. And you should basically uh, replace pinyin with phonetics. Pinyin is just the phonetics, but for Chinese language. And the rest should probably be good. Uh, probably also change the example here, but that, that's not a big deal. I hope everything is clear. Uh, don't hesitate uh, to follow me. I will provide more templates. Thank you.